Hey guys, and welcome back to another video of the monthly free assets for the Unreal Engine Marketplace, this time around for March 2024. So once again, as usual, we've got access to five amazing assets free for this month only. You can keep them permanently afterwards, but you can only claim them free for this month. This time around, we've got the Primitive Characters Pack, the Ultimate Farming, the Renovation Simulator, DLC in Blueprints V3, and the medieval modular town with interior. So as usual, I'm just gonna be covering these five different assets, showcasing them and just talking about them so you guys can see them and claim them as well. And you'll see links in the description down below to where you can find these. I also just wanna say, sorry if I sound a little bit different in this video, I am a little bit under the weather, but that's all good. So let's just get right into the video, starting with the primitive characters pack. So this gives you access to five amazing different characters for you to use in your games. So all of these characters are rigged and rigged to the epic skeleton, both for the UE4 and UE5 skeleton. However, they are not animated, it's just the character with the rig itself. Like I say, there are five characters, they have 25 materials and material instances with 78 textures, with the text resolutions for the characters themselves being 8K and the weapons that the characters are holding being 4k so very very high quality you may want to lower that a bit slightly however you've got some good high quality textures there the vertex count of the characters is for character 1 104,000 character 2 139,000 character 3 76,000 character 4 76,000 and character 5 23,000 there's not much else to say on this other than that you get five different characters these being a man a woman a child, a grandfather, and a grandmother. And these look absolutely amazing. Next up, we've got the Ultimate Farming Pack. So this is a pack of farming plants, props, a greenhouse, planters, and fields so you can create a realistic farm-themed game, or it doesn't even have to be a game about farming. You could just put these in the scenery in the background of your game as well if you want a little farming environment. So this includes 42 different types of plants, which are all listed on the Marketplace page, but don't worry, I'm not going to list all 42. You can adjust the color tone of each plant using the Smart Material system. So for example, when creating a tomato field, you can have some of the tomatoes be ripened as red and have other ones being unripe as green for a more realistic effect. They're not going to all look the exact same, so you can modify that. All the plants also utilize a wind system, and with this pack, you'll have sufficient 3D content to easily simulate the entire process of each plant from seed germination to fruit production. So if you are making a simulation game, you have all the necessary assets to do that throughout the whole life period of a plant. So this features 301 unique meshes with 134 materials and material instances and 200 textures, all of which being 4K. And these do not include LEDs as all meshes are using Nanite. So once again, this one looks absolutely amazing and very, very high quality assets. Now we've got Renovation Simulator. So this allows you to create your own renovation game with the tools and features that adapt to your simulator. Whether you want to renovate, create or modify an environment, this Renovation Simulator is for you. So this features a day-night cycle with a clock, an interaction tablet, monetary system, collecting rubbish, cleaning dirt, painting walls, doors, pillars, and ceilings, repairing fences, a selection wheel. You can sell items. There's a level up and XP system. When you're looking to interact with something, it has a nice outline around the mesh. There are also structure meshes, for example, walls, doors, stairs, and pillars, a pause menu, and an FPS counter and crosshair. So I'd say the best way to describe this asset pack is to just think of House Flipper. It is basically a kind of version of that. So in total, there are 43 blueprints and 51 materials, and this is not network replicated. So I think this is a really good base and foundation if you're looking to make this kind of game. You can get this and build upon it and expand upon it to make the perfect game for you. And now we have DLC in Blueprints V3. So this allows you to quickly and easily add DLC and MTX to your project for Steam and Epic Games Store. So this plugin offers you the ability to utilize Steam and Epic Games Store DLC systems for your project with blueprints using a single modular node design. It is designed to fit in with any project and be very easy to use while also powerful in feature sets. 
So some of the features for Steam are it will check if the DLC and or the game is purchased and installed on the player's Steam account. You can open the store page for the targeted game or DLC via the Steam overlay with a single blueprint node. You have the ability to open any web page such as your game website, a social media profile or anything else you might have all from a single blueprint node within the Steam overlay. And there is also an anti-piracy protection by allowing you to code your game logic with Steam ownership verification. So obviously that's great in allowing to make sure that the player has to have the DLC in order to use it. And now some of the features for the Epic Games Store is it will again check if the DLC or game is purchased on the player's Epic Games account. You can open a checkout window within the Epic Games Store overlay for quick in-game purchases. You have the ability to quickly and easily add microtransactions to your games via the Epic Games Store. There is an anti-piracy protection by allowing you to code your game logic with Epic Games Store ownership verification. You can retrieve information about the game and its DLC such as its price, title, description, release and expiration date and more from within blueprints which is great for automating widget changes for an in-game store such as automatic price changes from a sale which is absolutely amazing. And you can also log in the player automatically from the Epic Games Launcher to enable overlay and other Epic Games Store online features with a single node. So obviously that all sounds absolutely amazing. Getting this for free is a deal. It's perfect. If you are someone who wants to make DLCs for your game, this is definitely perfect for you. And finally, last but not least, we've got the modular medieval town with interior. So this allows you to design your own high quality medieval town in minutes with a fully modular workflow and an extensive library of assets. So this is highly optimized, fully realistic and vivid. There are three houses and one tavern prefab blueprints. All the interior and exterior brick walls have easy to use materials with vertex painting. There are layered and angled based automatic landscape materials to create various environments. An automatic foliage placement based on the landscape material layer paint. 14 blueprints to help you make your game easily. There are different lamp blueprints and street light blueprints which have many controls to emulate a real candle light with appropriate meshes. There's door blueprints and flame particles. Food, kitchen props and related blueprint prefabs have also been added in a recent update. There is a, there is a medieval era themed music. There is tree and grass assets and prop improvements and fix for the BP house collision has also been added. So as you can see, they are updating this as well when necessary. There are three levels and 151 meshes, all of which have automatically generated collision and four LODs. There are six materials, 167 material instances, 14 blueprints, one particle and one sound cue. And there are 463 textures ranging from 2K all the way up to 4K. So once again, I think this one also looks absolutely amazing. I think this month's round was absolutely great. And I think that'll be it for this month, covering the monthly free assets for March 2024. Like I said, I think this month was one of the best ones for quite a while. There's lots of really, really good assets on here. I think my favorite one around this time is either the DLC and Blueprints or the Modular Medieval Town with Interior. Let me know in the comments down below which one your favorite one is for this month. And I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful with me just covering these assets, showcasing them, and also just in general reminding you that you can get these for free. If you did enjoy it, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below as it really does help me and the channel out a lot. And we're trying to hit 100k this year, so all your support really helps so much and means a lot. So again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.